In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Waze Super Rack with your Digico console and a SoundGrid server. I'm going to show you how you connect everything and how you set up your computer and your Digico console. Hi, my name is Pita and welcome to Mono Sound Lab. Let's have a look at our setup first. We have a Digico SD console with a Waze I.O. option. We have a SoundGrid server and we have a computer, a MacBook Pro or a PC running Super Rack SoundGrid. Everything is connected to a network switch. Make sure you use the Waves supported network switch. Waves has a list of supported network switches. We leave a link in the description down below. About the connections, we connect our SoundGrid server and our laptop to the switch, and we make two connections from our Digico console to the switch. One from the Waves IO port and one from the control port for remote control of our plugins. On the console, we need to enable Waves. We press options and we go to console. Here, we need to enable external waves. So press yes and select the correct waves network. If this is disabled, you need to restart your desk. Let's head over to Super Rack. We go to setup. And the first thing we need to do is select the port connected to our waves network. Now we can configure our I.O. devices and our servers. We can do it manually by clicking the plus button and selecting the correct device, but we also can use the auto config option. If we use the auto config option, Waves will search for the right devices and set them up in the network. Make sure to always check your clock settings of your Waves I.O. We go to settings. And here we set our clock source to digital. Now we can set up our controllers. We hit plus and we select console remote control. We hit the settings button and we select the correct network port. Once we've selected the correct network port, we see the console appear in the list down below. Now we can assign the console to one and hit OK. If we now go to Rack, you can see we can remote control our plugin. That's how you set up Super Rack. In one of our next videos, we will show you how you can use Super Rack. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, my friends, until next time.